Well, this morning, the federal government is warning companies not to pay ransom in response to a ransomware attack. This comes after a number of attacks this year, including the most recent one, the country's food supply. Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson joins us live now with more. Rashad, good morning. Good morning. These cyber attacks are impacting everything from gas to the nation's food supply. And the White House is urging companies this morning to beef up their cybersecurity to prevent future attacks. This is the reality, and we should assume, and businesses should assume, that these attacks are here to stay and, if anything, will intensify. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo is urging companies to do more to protect themselves from cyber attacks. This year alone, hackers have targeted some of the nation's largest companies, impacting things like gas and now food. Some very simple steps like two-factor authentication, having proper backups and backup technology can be enormously helpful. On Capitol Hill, this is something lawmakers are monitoring closely. Virginia Democratic Senator Mark Warner wants legislation requiring companies to report to the government if they've been hacked. Not only are the companies often not reporting right. uh, that they are attacked, but they're not reporting the ransomware payments. The White House says a criminal group based in Russia was responsible for the attack on the Colonial Pipeline and the most recent one on JBS USA. Missouri Republican Senator Roy Blunt says Russia should be held accountable. You really have to treat uh, Russia like it's virtually a criminal enterprise. Right. Uh, they, they harbor criminals, they, they, they don't appreciate the rule of law. Now, all of this is happening as President Biden is set to take his first foreign trip as president later this week. Reporting live in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you.